to my wonderful and indefatigable listeners. Welcome to another interesting news. Bishop Kuka has said Nigeria witnessed ugliest face of corruption under ex-president Muhammad Buhari. He spoke in Adoekiti, the Ekiti state capital, during a lecture he delivered at the celebration of the 60th anniversary of the court to of the founder of Afe Babalala University, Adoekiti, Ara Are Afe Babalala, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. The Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Shokoto, Matthew Koka, on Monday said, Nigeria witnessed the ugliest face of corruption during the last administration of former President Muhammadu Buhari. He spoke in Adoekiti, the Ekiti state capital, during a lecture he delivered at the celebration of the 60th anniversary of the court to bar of the founder of Afe Babalola University, Adoekiti, Are Afe Babalola, senior advocate of Nigeria. The lecture titled The Future of Constitutional Democracy in Nigeria Imperative of a New Constitutional Order. While clarifying that the trend didn't start under Muhammadu Buhari, the cleric maintained that corruption festered under the ex president's watch. He said, We have seen the worst phase of corruption in Nigeria. Femi Falano, my friend, is here, will speak about that because he, was, he has published a series of articles talking about what happened under the President Muhammadu Buhari's administration. They were, not, they were not the ones who caused corruption, but I think in the last administration we saw the ugliest face of corruption, whether in moral terms, financial terms, and other terms. In his lecture, Cook had made a case for men of integrity in the judiciary, particularly at the Supreme Court. The bishop who called on the federal government to avoid sentiments in the process of the country's democratic journey said upholding the provision of democracy required selfless service which should not be sentimentally driven to foster development. He frowned at leaders who limited development to their hometown saying, this does not project democracy, this does not speak well of our democracy. The Nigerian needs to grow democratically and develop politically Every federal institution must reflect what Nigeria should reflect all over the country. The country should stop reinforcing inequality. There must be sanctions and consequences for those who go against our democracy and the constitution of our land for us to have a better society. Matthew Azan Kuka is the current Bishop of Roman Catholic Diocese of Shokoto State. In December 2020, Pope Francis appointed him as the member of the Dicastery of on Integral Human Development. Bishop Kuka was born in the Ife Dome of Dangon, Kataf, local government area of Kaduna State. Kuka received his primary school education at St. Fidelis, Fe, St. Fidelis Primary School, Zagom, the then St. Joseph Minor Seminary, Zaria, before proceeding at St. Augustine Major Seminary in Jos Plateau State. Here he studied philosophy and theology. He was ordained a Catholic priest on the 19th of December 1976. Koka also attended the University of Ibadan, where he obtained a diploma in religious studies. Koka also received the Bachelor of Divinity at the Pontifical Nyoban University in Rome in 1976, followed by a master's degree in peace studies at the University of Bradford University in United Kingdom in 1980. Bishop Coca, academic pursuits culminated with a PhD from University of London School of Oriental and African Studies in 1990. At some unspecified point, he studied at the University of Oxford in Oxford, in Oxfordshire, Oxfordshire, England, United Kingdom, and also at Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts, in Greater Boston in the United States. Between 1999 to 2001, he served as a member of the Nigerian Investigation Commission of Human Rights Violation. In addition to his work as a parish priest in St. Andrew's Parish in Kakuri, Kaduna State, from 2004 until his nomination as bishop, he was secretary of the National Public Political Reform Conference 2005, and from 2005 on onwards, he has been serving as the chairman of Ongoni Shell Reconciliation. Additionally, between 2007 2009, he worked also in the Committee for Electoral Reform to set up the Nigerian government. It was reported that the passing away and burial of Mama Janet Awakoka, the bishop mother born in June 1934, who was buried in Amritsar, Zagon Kataf local government area, with many dignitaries at attendance, 
and others sending their condolences. The Roman Catholic Diocese of Zaria is a diocese located in the city of Zaria, Cardona State, in the Ecclesiastica province of Cardona State. On the 5th of December 2000, the Diocese of Zaria was established from the Metropolitan Archdiocese of Cardona State, Bishop George Jonathan Dodo, which was installed as the first Bishop of Zaria Diocese by Most Reverend Father Osbado Badila, the Papa Naso to Nigeria. The Cathedral is Cathedral of the Christ the King in Zaria. Bishop of Zaria Roman Rite was Most Reverend Dr. George Jonathan Dodo. His Lordship, Most Reverend Donathan, Dr. George Jonathan Dodo, was born into the family of Mr. David B. Dodo and Mrs. Paulina Dodo of Zuturang Mago Village in Zagon, Kataf, local government area of Kaduna State, on the 17th of April 1956, thereby becoming the second child and first son of the family. He was enrolled into the St. Patrick Primary School, now LEA Primary School, Sunsun Rong Mago in January 1964 for his primary education and finished in 1970. However, since he could not gain admission into secondary school at the end of 1970, he had to repeat classes class 7 and class 6 in 1971 and 1972 respectively. One of the bishops of the Cats Dickies of Shokoto State, Matikoka Omonde, said Nigerian witnessed the ugliest ugliest face of corruption during the last administration of former President Mamadou Buhari. Bishop Kuka spoke in Adokiti, the state's capital, during a lecture he delivered at the celebration of, 60th, of the 50th anniversary of the call to bar of the founder of the Afebabalala University, Are Afebabalala, while clarifying that the trend didn't start with Mamadou Buhari. The cleric maintained that corruption first started under the ex-president watch. He said, we have seen the worst face of corruption in Nigeria. Femi Falano, who is my friend, will speak about that because he has published a series of articles talking about what happened under the Buhari administration. They were not the ones who caused the corruption, but I think in the last administration we saw the ugliest face of corruption, whether in moral terms, financial terms, and other terms. Taking Nigerian's opinion, George Vote APC said, I have stopped loving politicians. Barry taught me he had lesson. I, I scrutinized their track record, wide acceptability, public policy proposals, and ability to, to recruit right team to execute. President Ashwa Jubala met Tunobu, who is the Jagaban and GC FR as them all. I am still projecting him to be the next president of the of Nigeria in 2027. I have I have had a second thought about my conviction. Ashwa Jubala met Tunobu Jagaban is the future of Nigeria. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news.